we're going to do a demonstration cut on an automotive interior fabric. This is a very tough fabric and this is a bit of a challenge. So the customer has long rolls of this stuff. He wants to portion down the rolls. But the material is wound on a fairly stout PVC core. Um, that makes it a challenge. Here, this is effectively a composite workpiece. We have two different materials bound together that we have to cut with the same blade. So normally when cutting a fabric type material, we would use a knife type blade of some sort to get a smooth, snag-free, pretty cut. But a knife type blade will not get through this PVC core. And the kind of blade that will do the best job of getting through this PVC core will make a mess out of this fabric. We've compromised with a one inch wide, eight tooth per inch, hook tooth style blade. It'll cut through the core material, the PVC pipe, slowly, but it'll cut through it just fine. And since it has relatively fine teeth, it should not make too much of a mess of this fabric. Again, it's not the ideal um, blade for the application, but composite materials make for compromises here. Um, I'm going to adjust this workpiece to location just a little bit. The ideal machine for this application would be, a workpiece this big would either be a 236 heavy, or if the roll were a larger diameter, a model 2054. This is the machine I have available for test cutting now if we're going to make it work. So this is, if you're not familiar, the model 236, bandsaw, four-wheel saw. It has 14-inch blade wheels running a, a two-horsepower brake motor. It is a traveling table saw. The idea is you put the workpiece on the table, push the table to make the cut. A couple of advantages there. First off, you get a nice straight cut based on the rolling of the table, not sliding a workpiece across the fixed table. And, very importantly, it keeps your hands away from the blade while you're cutting. You're touching the table. Don't have your hands on the workpiece while you're cutting. To set up the cut, I'm going to raise the upper guide. The upper guide is mounted on this adjustable height arm with a guard around it. You raise the guide and guard high enough to clear your workpiece. Lock it in there. So it'll clear the workpiece, but you leave only the minimum amount of blade exposed and for safety, because the rest of the blade is guarded, and you minimize the free span of the blade between the guides, make for, for, for a more accurate cut. In this case, that's not gonna be an issue. This stuff's gonna cut um, plenty straight. The difficulty will be getting a clean cut that's not all snagged and rippy. Um, like I say, this is a compromised blade, so we're gonna see what kind of result we get with it. I'll zoom in a little bit on the cut process for you. Table mounted controls start stop. The controls come as standard over on the saw's vertical column, but these are duplicate. You can start and stop, start or stop from either location. So green means go. And let's see what result we get. I'm going to ease into this. I have not cut this material before, so I'm going to start by the very slow. See what I get. relatively easy but you can hear it snagging and working in that material. I should have connected some dust collection. We are making some dust. We're in the core right now. Actually cuts pretty easily through the core. This is a very tough material. I assume it's some kind of polysynthetic material. It is tough. And there's our cut. Like I said, a little bit of a, a little bit of fuzzing, but it's actually not that bad. It's pretty clean. A little bit of dirtiness on the uh, cut material. Brand new machine, a little bit of production dirt on it, but uh, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. I could have gone more quickly through it. I'll zoom in on that even more for you. Yeah, 
so predictably made some dust, but the actual uh, drill here, what I'll, I'll break this stuff out. That's some tough tape. Okay. Guess I can't just do that. So you can see what the cut edge looks like. That's uh that's quite good. That's what a bandsaw does.